hormones, I love them. Um, let's talk about an, an overview of ones we've already talked about and ones that we will talk about more that are either produced or affect the kidney. So produced by the kidney, we've talked about renin, triggers angiotensin, and we've talked a little bit, but I'll come back to erythropoietin. So renin is going to be our part of our renin angiotensin, aldosterone triggered by low blood pressure. And now you know what aldosterone is going to do. Remember angiotensin also cause, causes vasoconstriction. Another one is calcitrol. This is stimulated by um, low calcium and relates to calcium homeostasis. Hormones that affect the kidney include, well, aldosterone, parathyroid hormone, increases calcium channels in the membranes to increase calcium reabsorption in response to low calcium. Um, Antidiuretic hormone, that's the one we'll talk about next. Water retention in the collecting duct. And natriuretic, natriuretic hormones. For example, atrial natriuretic peptide, which you know responds to high blood pressure. So we have done this, this, and this. We will do ADH and AMP next. And count of the erythropoietin, what to do right now. What causes the release of erythropoietin? Low oxygen, does that make sense? It does because erythropoietin is going to result in increased red blood cell production in the red bone marrow. About 85% of your EPO, that's what this is, right, is produced in the kidneys. So the kidneys are going to regulate red blood cell production through sensing oxygen levels. Pretty cool. They're definitely have endocrine function, right, these kidneys? So what we've done in this video is describe the role of kidneys in regulating, regulating erythropoiesis. Um, we also introduced a couple of hormones that we're gonna get to next.